Hey guys, so a while back I made a video showing you how you can make your Mac speak to you, but I mentioned that you can only speak at around 360 words per minute. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to raise that rate to up to 720 words per minute using a workflow that I created. Now, before I jump in, I just want to let you know that I have a video explaining how to use text-to-speech, and if you haven't seen that already or you don't know what text-to-speech is, I suggest you click the I in the top right corner, and then you'll be directed straight to that video, and you'll be able to watch that before you finish this video. In addition, I'm also going to be posting a second video explaining how all of this works, why it works, and how to deal with some common issues. So if you want that, it'll be up probably either today or the day after I post this video. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so the solution that I actually came up with, I found on a post on Stack Exchange. I think this is the original one, and I'll leave the link to this post in the description. I just wanted to leave that in for attribution sake. But the problem was that this post was a little bit complicated, and it requires the use of terminal, which is a little bit confusing if you've never used it before. So instead, what I've done is I've actually created a special workflow to solve this problem for you. So all you do is go to the link which I've already put in the description and you click the little download button at the top right corner right over here and it'll download the special zip file for you. Then you go and you click that zip file and then you're going to click on change default TTS, not the zip file since you've already opened up that, change default TTS and it'll open that and it'll ask you if you'd like to install the service. So you're going to install. So think of this as like a mini app that just does a specific task. Okay, so what we're now gonna do is in the top right left corner, you'll see this little Apple symbol. Um, right next to it, you'll see a, a menu and that menu reflects whatever app is in the front. So if you're in system preferences, it'll say system preferences. If you're in Chrome, it'll say Chrome. Finder, it'll say Finder. Just click that and then hit services and then change default TTS. So before you actually change anything, I just want you to make sure you've adjusted your slider to fastest or some other speed, but just not don't leave it just at normal before you do this. Um, in the other video, I'll explain why. Hello, my name is Ava. I am an American English voice. Okay, that sounds about good. So then I want you to go here and you're gonna type in 720 or whatever rate you want to go. You can't go above 720, it won't let you do that. And just hit, okay. Okay, so now all the processes should be complete and let's try to listen to something. Okay, so that's definitely much faster than what we was reading before. Uh, if you wanted to read something else, you could go to, say, uh, Project Gutenberg. And we'll just we'll just read whatever this says right here. Okay, and so that's pretty fast. So maybe you don't want to do that. Um, you know, when I first started, I hit maybe around 500. So you can go to uh, Chrome, Services menu, Change Default TTS. Um, and so it'll always be there. It might change the location, but it'll always be there. So let's say 400. Sorry, I have to close that first. You have to do that first. And then you do services, change default TTS, 400, or I said 300. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. Quit that. And then... Project Gutenberg offers over 57,000. So you can adjust it as easily as that. All right, well, that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you still have questions or you're still not sure how this works, all you have to do is click on the link in the description, which will take you to my troubleshooting video and my more in-depth video, or it should pop up somewhere on your screen right around over here. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. <laughs>